Tomorrow, most areas I think are going to stay dry. Might see a few late day showers, mostly across southern Virginia down towards Virginia Beach. It's Sunday that we see some showers, maybe even a thunderstorm into Monday as well. The action will become more scattered as we get into the holiday, and that means there will be dry hours both days. If there's any one day that I would say would be really wet, it will probably be Sunday. Localized totals between now and late Monday could come in at over an inch in a few places. The other big issue this weekend, of course, is the pollen that stays very high. The grass pollen, tree pollen remains moderate out there tonight. The storm system that is going to be plaguing the area is sitting off the Georgia coast tonight. It's slowly going to make its way to the northwest into the South Carolina coast by late tomorrow, early Sunday morning. It'll track up into North Carolina and then take a right hand turn, go back out to sea. So it's going to hang around for a good chunk of the weekend. High pressure uh, basically parked to our north is going to keep a pretty persistent northeasterly wind that will pick up during the day tomorrow and be rather gusty even into Sunday and maybe Monday as well. Cloud cover advancing to the north, but notice the rain is pretty far away. If you do have plans to be down around the outer banks tomorrow afternoon, it's going to turn wet there first. 57 degrees outside right now. The breeze coming in out of the east about five miles an hour. Overnight tonight, we drop to around 50 in the metro. Some areas north and west that have some breaks of clear sky right now will drop into the mid 40s and highs tomorrow, low 70s on average. So we remain a bit below normal. The breeze is going to be picking up out of the east northeast about 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. If you have plans to be on the James, just watch the river level. It is going to stay below five feet where life jackets are required, but it's going to hover around four feet pretty much all weekend long. Water temperature coming in in the low 70s. All right, Virginia Beach has a chance at staying dry most of the day tomorrow, but rain comes in later on into the nighttime. The wind really picking up a gale warning out that way and waves will be six to nine feet tomorrow, and then it turns rainy with some scattered thunderstorms on Monday and a high risk for rip currents, and that's not only Virginia Beach goes down the Carolina coast and also north up around Ocean City, a high risk for rip currents the entire weekend. The other direction, the mountains tomorrow looks dry, little sunshine, but then it turns wet on Sunday and a few thunderstorms possible there as well on Monday. Pretty cool as well. Overnight clouds increase and we're kind of in and out of the clouds in the metro area. Tomorrow the clouds certainly take hold again. Rain advancing slowly to the north, but notice this is four o'clock in the afternoon. Rain is not here. Likely later tomorrow night that it arrives and then a wet day coming up on Sunday, especially the first portion of the day. In the afternoon, more scattered showers, and that'll be the rule on Monday as well. As that storm system begins to pull away and out to sea, but a thunderstorm or two possible as well on Memorial Day. 51 overnight, mid 40s rural communities, variably cloudy skies for tomorrow. We're looking at a blend of uh, sun and clouds early, but then the clouds take over. High temperature 72 with a rather gusty northeasterly wind. Wet on Sunday, a few scattered thunderstorms, a possibility on Memorial Day. And of course, it dries out as we get into the middle of the week and it heats up later in the week as well.